best part of waking up is rosé in your cup. <laughs> I am... It's Karina, Katrina, and Jenny again, Hi. and it's a coffee with K and K and Jenny. <laughs> Cheers. K, K, and Jai. Today we just wanted to talk about our morning routines, because they're each individual, but it's kind of how each of us kind of sets the tone for the day. Absolutely. I love this, because I feel like I want to learn both, uh, like a lot from both of you. I feel like I have far more to learn from both of you than this you do be, from me. This would be fun. Jenny, we'll drill you first. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your morning. Your well. I didn't used to be much of a morning person, and I am very much so now. Um, sometimes I have to convince myself to stay in bed until the sun comes up, um, but it just, something in me gets going every morning and my brain starts going, so it's like this automatic to-do list. It's been a serious practice of mine to like slow down, to not automatically get on emails. You know, we're on our phones constantly. We can like dive so quickly into everything that we need to do on our to-do list yeah. mm -hmm. that it's so important to like, feel like the world can wait mm -hmm. and we can take care of ourselves for a minute. You have created your best life and your dream life that you are so excited ah. to actually spring out of bed and That's do what you great. love. So I the love flip that. side is it's actually really magical that you you do something that you love so much that you can't wait to wake up in the morning. And so that's a good lesson too. Yeah. Whatever you do in your life and you create mm -hmm. this life, do something every day that makes you want to just get up I the love sun that. Rises. I never thought of that, but it's so true. Yeah. And that's about the time in my life when things really changed was when I started doing something for myself that made me very happy. <laughs> Mornings actually excite me. There's the evenings when I get to go home and make dinner and have a glass of wine. Love those little moments. Yeah. <laughs> and then the mornings, I really look forward to them waking up and having that time to yourself and do some meditation. Every morning, it's out of bed, go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, go upstairs, make the coffee, have a glass of water, light the fireplace, light the candle. Fireplace? <laughs> it's a process. Oh, oh my it's gosh. Like, I don't care if it's on. It's oh my like, gosh. it's a process to actually then sit down and take that time to myself. You can take two minutes, you can yeah. take 30, whatever the time in your day allows. And it's really yeah. great. Love that. Yeah. We should have a guided meditation led by Karina on our app. Yeah, I would love to do that. I'll do that. So you wake up and mm. you try to slow down. Yes. But um, like coffee or tea or what's your thing? I do lemon water. Oh, good. Yes. Mm -hmm. And unless it's a really big day, I'll have, there's this one coffee store. It's like the corner coffee shop on my block. And like, you know, the regular coffee spots just don't do it for me. Like, I swear I get more tired from coffee, but this one place, it's called their Scrumptious Latte. And I, like, I'm like wired all day. If I have yeah. a day where I like really need to be on point, it's like, yeah. I need a scrumptious latte first thing in the morning. And it also gives me time to walk to, you know, like it's like a 10 minute walk. So it's nice to like get outside, mm -hmm. I walk my puppy. She has your booty call in, doesn't even know it. Yeah. yeah. Our booty call is like, you wake up, you walk away from your house for like 10 minutes and then you walk back and you just have to move first thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It starts your day really it's, good. It's interesting. Like whenever I travel, I feel like more of the need to do that. When you travel, does your morning routine change it up? Or it does. It, yeah. And it, it's more of the giving yourself like 10 minutes in the morning to get out and walk. So like I wake up before my husband does. So we'll get out or I'll get up. I'll like sneak out because he's a very light sleeper. And I'll go get like croissants and flowers and like, you know, bring back coffee for him. And then yeah, he like so wakes cute. up yeah. to it. And then yeah. it's like, then we get to have our moment together. He wakes up the flowers and croissants. <laughs> the flowers are for me, but. <laughs> that's so sweet. No, that is sweet. Okay, and then do you check emails? And yes. Then... Well, first, first I get on Instagram because email mm -hmm. is dangerous because yeah. I, we live on the West Coast mm -hmm. and the world oh, starts yeah. before us. <laughs> yeah. New York. That's crazy. London, Paris, everything starts before. Oh, yeah. So like everyone's emailing us from Paris. I'm like, oh, yeah. this, so let me get my day going first. <laughs> so I'll start on Instagram. And I think I, I come up with my cleverest captions, I think in the morning too. Well, my brain just works better in the morning. So my captions kind of flow better in the morning. Yeah. So I'll post something, I'll like get in the shower, I'll maybe post something else, and then I'll open up my email. Do you think of things in the shower? Yes, all oh the time. Me too. I have to keep my pen like and my pad of paper like she, right there. She brings her phone in the shower just in case to take notes. I just write. I, I like I have to like write things down. Mm -hmm. And like my it's phone really in my bad. bathroom feels very dangerous. Yeah, I've it dropped is. my phone in but the water. But apparently, I can get this wet. Oh yeah, I've dropped mine in the pool. Really? I dropped it in the pool. And Did you have? Do you have a seven? Mm-hmm. 
It is oh. fine. Yeah. Well, the sevens are waterproof. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like Karina and Katrina proof. <laughs> it's great. This morning I was thinking um, positive patient. Mm. Um, what was my third word? Oh, and love. So positive patient and love. Like I just, That's beautiful. those are my three. I'm trying to think of like mantras of the day. Yeah. And just like whatever I'm feeling, Exerted. how I need to like react. Yeah. And like today I'm like, okay. Like, I think so. nowadays, like the shower is like the only moment we have actually to ourselves. Yeah, except like, or hot I've been yoga. My phone in. Oh yeah, hot <laughs> yoga. Yeah. Except we're usually with each other, and I'm like, then we're like, wait, yeah, what? no, I, 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 I applaud the two of you. I cannot work out with a friend if my life depended on it. I turned in, I turned into like a giggling hyena. We'll like, just go on a slog. Oh yeah, <laughs> what's a slog? Slow, Slow jog. jog. <laughs> Oh no, it's kind of, we've been like slocking lately. Slocking is a slow, slow walk. walk. Yeah, I like the slog. A little bit of sloga, slow yeah. walk to yoga. I will make the exception just so that I could try slogging for the first yeah. time. Running with a friend is too much, because then I you're just like winded, and you're just like, wait, can we just like stop when you're It's like the Friends episode. This? Yeah, oh wait. With Phoebe and Rachel. Yeah, oh yes. my god, I love that. Yeah. Except Have she had a problem with no. that, she was running. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, she like flails around. I work out in the mornings best. I cannot work out at night. Talk what about me you guys? Then. It's hard at night. Morning, yeah. morning for sure. Uh, Kat's a little better than me in the evenings on going for a run. But I Brian will go with, with me or like Sarah will yeah. go with me. Like I, I always, if it's in the evening, it has to be with someone. Who's with like, somebody committed to. And with it your... ain't Karina. Yeah, because <laughs> she's not yeah. coming. <laughs> she's like, like, I've got my wine. <laughs> it's dark. <laughs> It's really bad in the winter when it's the sun yeah. starts going down. Oh, oh my like, PJs. Yeah, she's just gone. She's Hibernate. down to the count. Okay, so we've gone through our routine. So what's your routine? My alarm goes off, and then I usually press snooze twice before Brian says wake up because I always sleep through snooze. Once Brian tells me you got to get up, then I immediately go upstairs. I shut the door so the cats don't harass him. And then I feed the cats. I do that too. Yeah, oh gotta keep like, the animals out of the bedroom. They're so bad. And oh. then I go up. I make coffee and I make a double espresso and add a little coconut milk. Um, and this morning I put it over ice. And then um, oh, and I did a little cinnamon. I open Instagram. I open the TIU team hashtag. And um, sometimes I'll like snap story, making coffee or whatever. And then I go get dressed and then I, I have to work out immediately or it doesn't happen. And then if I miss my workout, which does happen depending on our schedule, the schedule yeah. can be crazy. It's different. Yeah, yeah. Then, um, then the first person I talk to is definitely Karina. Mm -hmm. And then we set the tone for the day. And um, if we're shooting workouts or we're doing anything, we start planning. And then lately my routine too is kind of setting a mantra of the day, mm -hmm. whatever I feel that I need or um, what, what is needed around me too, because we're surrounded by so many people that a lot of times we'll be going to um, group events or at our office and sometimes um, I've realized lately like whatever you set in the beginning of the day, think about what you need, but also think about what the people around you need too. And if you kind of think like whatever everyone needs around me or my husband, I give them what they need that day whether it's like love, confidence, or just happiness, and make that one of your mantras. So I feel like my morning That's routines cool. are getting better because they used to be more chaotic and crazy, mm -hmm. but I feel like I have good people in my life that have been helping me with the chaos and the crazy. Thanks, Sarah. I do the love thing as well. Like yeah. Part of my meditation is in my head, I, I envision a white light <laughs> around everybody that I know, oh, okay. and it's this light of love, and I think of everyone in my life that I love, oh. and I send them love each morning. Oh and my God, I, this is beautiful. I'm so I'm inspired right now. I'm going to send you a right pink now. light every morning. Yeah. I love that. That's remember when we got up even earlier. I love that. I remember when we meditated, and we were picturing like, what, like uh, in a field, and all this like, <laughs> we probably sound so <laughs> weird. <laughs> The trickling water. I like the it when the, you envision yourself in the ocean and the water trickling. And the person yeah, that was funny. leading it was like, what was the first thing that comes to your mind? And I was like, pink feathers. <laughs> yeah, oh, wait. oh yeah. <laughs> And I was like, and they're like, what do you envision what some, what someone needs? And I'm like, love and hugs. And then it turned oh. out to be like this huge thing about like our personalities and stuff, which was so funny. But that's that's been my <laughs> morning routine. Hard. Um, but same thing, I try not to check my email right yeah. away. Which if I do is usually when I miss my workout. So. Yeah. yeah, I've been a lot better not, because it would be like before I even got out of bed. Oh, 
refresh the email, but yeah. Yeah. I would say 70% of the time now, I don't do that. Yeah. yeah I wait till. Setting intentions or journaling yeah. is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. You have to join us for one of your morning workouts. Yes, I would love that. Okay. I would love that. That's what we'll do next. Sloga. Sloga. Thanks for having coffee with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Yay. Cheers. Cheers to coffee. Love you girls. Have a good day. <laughs>